Good afternoon. I'm Danny Burstein, and it's my honor to welcome you here to celebrate the life of Sheldon Harnick, the most extraordinary, talented, beautiful human, and one of the most legendary, poetic Broadway storytellers that the world has ever known. I was at a beautiful event at Sheldon's apartment with Margie celebrating his 99th birthday. Sheldon was sharp as a tack, and after joyfully eating a piece of cake, he proclaimed, birthdays are so great, I'd like to have one every year. <laughs> I knew Sheldon for eight years, not nearly enough, but you know, he's staying with me as he will with all of us in so many ways, and Sheldon's artistry and his zest for living inspire me every day. In his goodness, his menschness has made me a better person. Love you, Sheldon. Blended affection Suddenly soar What a strange and beautiful touch That I love him so much Share such a difficult, wandering kind of life. You were only out of sight, waiting right here. Rectangular is the hotel door my true love tried to sneak through. Rectangular is the transom over which I had to peek through. Rectangular is the hotel room I entered angrily. Now, rectangular is the wooden box where lies my love neath the grazing flocks. They said he died of the chicken pox. In part, I must agree. Much higher than I thought we'd climb. It's a long journey, and even though the end's in sight, there's not much time. I want to know we haven't built on sand in my own lifetime. So many of us up on this stage, and so many not up here, have had their lives changed by Sheldon. As young artists, he encouraged us, mentored us, came to our readings and shows, and collaborated with us, where, as this Pulitzer Prize-winning giant, he made us feel like his artistic equals, and that he valued us and appreciated our talent. He treated everybody with that same respect. Sheldon was a superhero. What gave you the idea that a man who makes his living handling liver, lungs, and kidneys has no heart? <laughs> a butcher has his feelings. He is not a piece of meat. A man is not a chicken. You should hang him by his feet. You'll take and scratch a butcher. He's a man of flesh and blood, a human being, not a person set apart. There, where my heart is settled long ago, I must go. I must go. Who could imagine I'd be wandering so? Let me just feel me Beautiful, glamorous, radiant, ravishing Look at the hair, look at the shape Look everywhere, I have such a divine me Dad was brilliant. Stephen Sondheim told me once my dad was his favorite lyricist. 
Dad was a singer. My parents and I used to sing harmony in the car on the way to the Hamptons. I love that so much. <laughs> he was often in his head. He would walk down Central Park West with his walking stick, writing lyrics. Once a man greeted him and he said hi. A block later, he realized that was John Lennon. <laughs> Another time, he and my mother were walking on Main Street in East Hampton. They ran into a woman, and my mother chatted with her for a while, while my dad stood there smiling and nodding. Afterwards, my father asked my mother, so was that one of your friends from art school? She's like, no, Sheldon, that was Barbara Streisand. <laughs> but my father and my mother said we learned to love each other, and now I'm asking Golden. Do you love me? I'm your wife! I know! <laughs> but do you love me? Do I love him? Well, deep down inside, I think we always knew that Sheldon was the best of us. Proof of that is a song that he wrote half a century ago, and I will try not to screw it up. <clears throat> They're rioting in Africa. Do, 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 do. They're starving in Spain. There's hurricanes in Florida. Texas needs rain. The whole world is festering with unhappy souls. The French hate the Germans. The Germans hate the Poles. Somehow it all reminds me of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. For right before my eyes, despise has turned into a man I like. It's almost like a dream, and strange as it may seem, 